What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. Thank you for joining me today. I do want to take a second. Now that I'm uh, making this video, I'm realizing that my glasses look fogged up. It's not foggy. It's just I got brand new glasses, and I didn't sign up for the anti-glare thing because that's usually something you just use for in the sun. If you look at my skin, ooh, I don't get a whole lot of sun. So I'm not going to pay $95 or something. I don't need, especially when we're mm, about six months away from a recession, if we're not already in one. So, but I should have known ahead of time that this place was probably not a good place to go to because as soon as I walked in there, the lady said to me, I'm sorry, do you have a mask? <laughs> I should have told her, I'm sorry, is this last year? No, I don't have a mask. I don't have to wear a mask. They said we could get rid of masks. Masks are god awful. I can't stand the mask. I had to put a mask on a few weeks ago when I had to go to Kaiser, which is a local hospital. I don't know if they have them wherever you're watching it, but I had to go to the hospital a few weeks ago. And I had to put a mask on. And within, look at my imaginary watch again. Uh, within about 30 seconds, I was, <sighs> couldn't breathe. And I don't care what my doctor said, I can't breathe as well with a mask on. It's just how it goes. People are different. Okay, so I hated the mask. People, Some people still wear masks. Like the people at the glasses place that I went to, people still wear masks and, and act like everything's normal. Like you're supposed to wear them. It's not Okay, I mean, you are more, you have every right and freedom to wear a mask in the end of October of 2022 if you want to. Uh, I just can't rely on you to help me if anything ever happens because you are clearly too afraid to combat with reality in life. Because, I'm sorry, but there are things way scarier than COVID in 2022. If you're very, very old or very, very fat or you have some other underlying issues, I get it. I wouldn't want to die that way either. But the virus has gotten weaker. It's like every virus. If you look it up, the science, the science of it, eventually, originally the virus is very, very fatal and it kills off people. And then finally the virus goes, oh, wait, I don't want to be killing off my host. I should probably... Bring it down a little bit, not kill off everything. Otherwise, if the host dies, I die. So it gets weaker. So now it's basically like the flu. Predicted that years ago. And people are still, Hey, uh, would you like, would you like uh, anti -glare? I don't know what you're saying. I get better hearing from a drive-thru when I go through, mm -hmm. Hi, I would like to... What? Uh, yeah, okay. And just drive on and just go on and see what they put in my bag. Because I don't know what they say. And it's so much worse, once again, with the... I don't know. So I got these. Um, we'll see how it does. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Funkos. So, this is Post Malone. And this is Post Malone. I got this one a few years ago. This is the one, I think he's got a couple of Funkos. I think there, there's at least one more, but I saw it and I was like, mm, I don't like the way it looks. But we got this one. I'm gonna just open this up. We're gonna compare this one from back in the day to one, the newer one that came out. So. Basically, only real differences we're gonna look at is the face tattoos, because when you think of Post Malone, you think of face tattoos. So here's the first one. We got him opened up. Open up the second one. This one is, I guess you could say this is based on the Circles video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you haven't heard the song, check it out. For my money, Post Malone is probably the best Relax. The best newer artist in quite a while. So, we got old Post Malone. We got older Post Malone now, if you think about it that way. But so, he's drinking. He's got the little red cup. Clearly some kind of alcohol. He's got a cigarette in his hand. And then you got him taking a knee, like Colin Kaepernick, with the bent sword. I don't like that. I don't like that bent sword. But... If you haven't heard the song Circles, you should definitely check it out and get out from underneath the rock. But Circles, for me, was a song that had to grow on me. First time you heard it, you're like, what is this? Second time, you're like, it's that song again. Third time, you're like, 
And then before you know it, you're blaring it on the radio, on your uh, in your car. So here we go. It's a very good song. So we're gonna look at the face tattoo. So this is of course the younger Post Malone. We had the man bun. I used to have a man bun. I took a picture one time, act like I was him. I was like, huh? Um, so we got the sword and the sword. We got the always and we got a smiley face. There is a Playboy bunny under his face right on his face right here and we got the stay away right here stay away that's common he's got two cards like looks like an ace of spades and then maybe another one some some other card i can't really tell to be honest with you my glasses aren't that good i can't tell with the detail apparently i have 2020 vision but uh i don't have six inch six inch vision so we got the barbed wire across the top barbed wire across the top we got tired on this eye, tired on this eye, and we just got the little squiggly mess of nastiness he's got on the right side of his face, right there. So there he is. So really the only differences are, he's got the Playboy Bunny and the cards on his face, I believe, yep. That seems to be the only differences right there. We're gonna do a little magic because my hands are crossed. Boom. There we go, there's Post Malone and Post, Post Malone. I guess. There we go. Pretty cool Funko. If you don't have it, I'd recommend getting it. I'm probably going to get it and put it in my desk and have him just sitting there just to remind me how good of an artist he is. And that is it. Hope everybody enjoyed the Funko unboxing. I hope you enjoyed my little rant about COVID and masks. Let me know what you think down below. Am I crazy? Maybe. I don't think I'm Kanye crazy, but maybe. But that is it. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And as always, I do appreciate it greatly. And until next time, peace.